Yes. With curfews imposed, officials are hoping there's not a repeat of last night's unrest. Boyd Hooper joins us live along Lake Street, where a number of businesses were damaged or looted. Boyd? Randy, those things that you mentioned, uh, that's the reason this vehicle is here right now. The Minnesota National Guard wants its presence known in ways big and small. The, the vehicle behind me and armed foot patrols that we've been seeing going up and down the street here along Lake Street. This after looting last night here on Lake Street and at Shingle Creek Crossing Mall in Brooklyn Center, elsewhere throughout the Twin Cities including again around Lake Street, hit so hard last spring after the death of George Floyd. One of those businesses cleaned out last spring was Studio 23, a sneaker and apparel store on Hennepin Avenue. Last night, just weeks after the store's full reopening, it happened again. Looters threw a rock through a reinforced glass door, forced their way through a metal grate, and carried out between twenty-five dollars and $40,000 worth of merchandise. Mo Habib, a minority business owner, says he sympathizes with those hurting from what happened to Dante Wright, but also can't take any more of this. You know, I'm a single father, just everything on top of each other, all the pain, sweat, and tears that you have to go through to, to be in this, you know, business and be an entrepreneur. And then for things to just continue to happen, it's really deflating. Not far away at Lake and Lindale, the owners of the Iron Door Pub boarded up their windows. The pub was gutted by fire in the riots last spring. Last night, another break-in. Particularly disheartening. I mean, any, any looting is disheartening for the owners of those businesses. But then to have this happen twice, particularly dispiriting here on Lake Street. Again, the Minnesota National Guard is here in force. They will be doing everything possible to prevent what happened last spring and again last night to a lesser degree from happening again. All right, thank you, Boyd.